Hello, in this video we will discuss on how to define variables in SPSS using the data editor. Assuming that we have performed a survey and we have collected all our data into an Excel file where we have grouped the variables into columns and the cases in rows. So we want to transfer those values or some of those into our SPSS. So let's begin with defining a few of the variables that we see in the Excel file. So first of all, we need to understand the, the nature and the type of variable and the data, the data that it is holding, whether it is numeric or uh, alphanumeric or date or binary like uh, zero one. So first of all let's begin with the id we open the data editor and we switch to the variable view directly we can define the name of the variable suppose that we want to set the id so we begin by typing the name of our variable now the type that we would like to uh, set for this variable as you can see here is numeric because it, it is going to hold numbers so I pick from the available types the numeric and I define a width that I would like to have as a as a number of columns for the uh, presentation of my variable so Assuming that we have only five numbers here, we can limit that to five. There's no decimal points, so I set it to zero. I press OK, and then the width is five, the decimal is zero. Next, if uh, I want to uh, set some specific label, uh, like employee ID, that I would like to be uh, present in any tables or plots that I'm going to prepare, I set the label here. Now, for the values, there is nothing to set here because this is used only when I have some categorical variable and I need or I wish to define a text label for a numeric value. We'll see that later. So I let I leave it as it is. For the missing values here, uh, again, as soon as the ID has no missing value, I set it to no missing values as I don't want to make uh, some uh, definition of a of a value that will be considered later as a missing one. The number of columns refers to the display on the data view. Let's limit that to 5 and the next uh, attributes are alignment whether I want to see in my data editor aligned to left or right let's set it to right now the measurement scale here as I see its number it's numerical so the variable fits for scale measurement so SPSS defines those three types of measurement scale, ordinal, nominal. When we have a numeric variable and a variable that holds numerical values, numeric values, then we set it usually to scale. And in case that the numeric values represent categories, then we set it either to ordinal or nominal. And finally, the role has to do with whether our variable is considered in our research as independent one or dependent so input is when it is something that we measure as independent variable and target when we measure this variable as an outcome so for the time being for the specific it is input so that's the first variable and we are ready to go to the data view and insert some values I can just copy the values from my Excel and paste them into my data editor on the SPSS. Now let's use another variable from our Excel 
say the rank. The ranking is a categorical variable that expresses the level, the seniority level of the employee. In this case, I define a categorical variable and I name that as rank. The type again is numeric, so I want to hold one digit zero decimal points. The label could be employee rank or I can let it empty. Now here for the values, I, it could be uh, welcome if I could define a label, a text label for each one of these numerical values. This will make my analysis easier. For example, for level 1 is the employee with no, uh, let's say, seniority. The value 2 could be to a mid level of seniority. Uh, level 3 could be a senior a senior level and the four could be an executive. So this way I define text labels for all the values and when I enter some data again I copy from the Excel and I paste them here you see that instead of having one two three and four I can see the labels the point here is that I can switch between the labels and the numbers by selecting this button where I can switch between the two views. For the missing values here, I could possibly define that in case I want in my analysis to consider some value as a missing one because as you can see we have some rows with no values I could define the number minus 9 it could be just a number that would be extraordinary and could not be uh, considered as a, a, a value uh, with some, min uh, with some uh, meaning for example, if I place here minus 9, then when I later analyze my data set, it will be considered from SPSS as a missing one. The number of columns could be related to whether I switch to num numerical or uh, text view. Let's leave it as it is. Alignment. Now, for the measurement scale, uh, this is clearly nominal. It has some categories, no order, so it is a pure nominal uh, scale. So, so far we have defined two variables, one numerical, numeric, uh, and one categorical. The same way we can go through in our Excel file and define any other type of variable that we would like to include in our data set. So in a few words, this is the way that we follow, this is the approach that we follow in order to define the properties of variables. We can add any number of variables and then we can switch to the data view to insert the data values. We have some uh, other uh, functionalities here in SPSS so we can select the data, define variable properties and we can modify some of the properties in a more formal way. So as you can see a text, uh, a dialogue is opening that contains all the details of our variable. So I can change either the label, the type, uh, the measurement level, the role, the width, all the attributes that we have uh, defined so far. And as you can see here, uh, it examines the data 
and indicates that this, as we said before, is considered as a missing value. And this is why we defined that previously. I can copy properties from another variable or to another two other variables or uh, define some labels automatically. So this is another way to 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 declare uh, the properties. Uh, but as I said, maybe this is a more straightforward way. So this is a way uh, that we can define. Of course, we can save that and uh, at any point of time we can change. Uh, of course, we need to be aware that as soon as we enter data, then we, uh, we should not uh, modify some core properties or else our data analysis will be biased. One thing to mention is that whenever we have missing data we don't need to do anything or we don't enter this dot because the uh, SPSS automatically recognizes that there is a missing value here from the Excel as we copy uh, recognizes that there is no value and places a dot we don't need to place a dot manually or else it will uh, be uh, considered as a text so that's all for the variables and as soon as we have defined all that we can proceed with our analysis thank you very much